Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and we are doing back-to-back -back videos on toys that we picked up last year um, at the St. Louis Benz. I'm trying to get through I think the remaining six or eight bags and then that way I can start on the new bags. Y'all I still have stuff from the um, high bid estate sale that I talk about all the time. I still have stuff from that I haven't gotten listed. I haven't finished sorting. All those doll clothes? Yeah. Don't you mean don't mention regular clothes though. Yeah. Don't be mentioning the bags and bags and bags of clothes that he hasn't processed yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the treasures we picked up. It's like Christmas for me. A lot of things I've, of course, forgotten. I forget about what I bought last week, much less 10 months ago. But just lots, lots of neat things. But look at all this. I've got tons of just these little art kits. I guess little craft kits. Oops. Just tons and tons. I'll sort through them more than likely like these larger kits I'll keep in a lot and then these smaller ones I'll divide up if there are any duplicates into a couple of different listings. I'm probably still going to be bread and butter. Hopefully I'll get like I don't add up for all of this you know maybe $15-20. But guess where this is going? This is going on my wall. Another example of a favorite vintage Fisher Price toy. This is one of the pocket radios. This one is Jack and Jill. It does work. So I'll hold on to it for a little while. And I'll find a place, maybe up there in the, the top somewhere. To sh just so I can enjoy it for a little while. This is Fisher Price too. Look, Fisher Price also um, magnetic horseshoe looking thing north and south Let's see what if it has a date 19 I think 82 very cute I have no clue on that one All right, this is 1982 I was in seventh grade I was already in the United States Navy thank you very much <laughs> This is called a hoot and holler animal collar. It needs new batteries. It's partially working because the batteries are dying. Um, but just very interesting. You got to know when you throw out those early 80s years, that's going to happen. <laughs> I found two of these in the bag. Look, very unique. It says Zoo Kers, K E R Z. I don't know. It almost kind of is like a boat. But I don't know quite sure what it would have been for. Just interesting. All right, Animal Adventure. I pick up lots of them. The older they are, usually the better they sell because the market just gets full of the current stuff. Um, but I still pick them up. I like the brand. It's a dog. It's cute. Rabbits. I mentioned this in my last video. This is the year of the rabbit. So hopefully I'll sell a bunch. I have tons of bears, but then my, probably my next largest group of animals are rabbits. So hopefully I'll sell out a bunch of rabbits this year. I picked these up. There's, there's different manufacturers of these, but a lot of homeschool families, preschools, like to pick these and have them in their classrooms. This one is an addition and subtraction. There's also a multiplication and division, but they're like magic. I think one of the brands calls them magic math. Um, but you know, you just press on the button and it tells you underneath it what it adds up to. I'm not sure if this one, oh, this one says Rantoy Inc. I want to say 1990 something. But definitely, if you see any of these, check the comps. We picked up a bunch of these again, and I have some from the Asheville bins too. But these are those um, snap, I want to say they're snap lock. 
by Fisher Price. These are the Minnie Mouse ones. I just sold a large lot of these, but it's the Minnie Mouse figure and then her clothes snap on, her shoes scooch on, and it has lots of accessories. So I'll probably be making a really large lot for probably 40 or $50 once I get all of it together. These are called Yoohoo's and Friends. I tend to pick these up and put them into um, small lots, but you got to check them. They all make a noise. Some of them giggle. Some of them do different things. But, you know, I'll check the comps on one, but if I have any others listed, um, then I'll make a lot of them. That sounded like a dream sequence from a TV show. I know. These are little water babies. I want to say they're just play, yeah. I, I tend to pick up um, these anytime I find them and put them in small lots, two or three of them. I think these are called, they're Fisher Price Wheel Pals. Wee Wheels, Wheel Pals. I think so. Wheelies. No. Anyway, they've got the little fixed character inside of them. I usually make lots of like six or so, you know, for $15 or $20, depending on if it's boys or girls and any, how old they are. Um, but I always grab these to make lots. I'm all about the smalls. Also, VTech, I show these on occasion in my solds. I tend to put two of these together, list them for about $9.95, and they weigh less than a pound, so I can ship them first class. And of course, more smalls. This is Periwinkle from Blue's Clues. There was a time when I could list these individually and they sold for quite a bit, 10, 10 to $15 each. Recently, I think there was a re, a new series of Blue's Clues. And so it's just kind of taken the, the price down a little. So I'll have to go check comps. I know on the previous video, I showed a few more. So I'll try to get a small lot and then go from there. All right, this is Cow Toy. I do not believe that it is Lion King, even though it's supposed to look like Lion King. I don't think Cow Toy was licensed for that. Um, so I'll just list it as another big plush. What a big dummy, but it should fit in my 18 inch box that I like to buy, which I need to reorder because I'm down to one. But I'm hoping still maybe $30 or $40 for him. He's heavy, too. Very solid plush. So what is that? <laughs> Marsha posted that in the Facebook group. And I can, turn, can I turn it sideways and get a side view of the, of the, of the face? No. I, people are There's debating a, I, whether it's a monkey or a duck. And... When I first saw it, I thought, saw, when I first saw it, I thought monkey, duck. but then the more I look at it, I think duck, because that mouth looks like it comes out like a bill mm -hmm. and he's got a little duck fuzz on top of his head, but and no ears, no ears, but he doesn't have webbed feet. Yeah, and but it, he's probably an older plush and they, they didn't get into that, um, much detail. There's no, I didn't see a maker on there on the tag, but it said something about joy collection. It's an interesting looking little uh, critter. <laughs> I'd have picked it up. I'd have picked it up because it just, it's different. It's intriguing. And you'll probably be the only one on eBay. And hopefully you can use the right keywords that somebody who might actually be looking for that will find it. I think they were using monkey duck or duck monkey. monkey duck. Or... I would. I've, I've had plush where you just couldn't quite tell what it is. And I've used both words in the title. Um, it's just, you know, you do what you got to do to try to get it sold. Now this is bean sprout. It definitely needs a bath, but just very interesting. I've done very well. I think bean sprout might be a target brand, maybe just based on my, my recollections, but I'm hoping maybe 15 to 20 for it, but it's definitely going to need a bath. Y'all, I have one, one of these sitting over there that's waited this whole time. I found it in one of the first bags um, and now I finally found 
there's more in this bag. These are from Kenner. I think they were part of the Tree Tots series. Um, but it's just all of these connect. And then when you spin them, they cause something to happen on the next one. So I have been waiting for a year to find the bags so that I can go ahead and make a lot of these. Um, I've only had them one time before. They're from 1976. Um, but I, I'm hoping, depending on how many I have, for like $40 to $50 for all of them. And I will sell them as a lot. Oh, look. I've had this a few times. This is the Gerber Baby doll from, I want to say the, yeah, 1994. Just cute. Of course, it's a naked baby. Um, they don't sell for a whole lot. I'm thinking like $12 or $15 only. But very cute. A lot of these marks will come off. It won't be an issue. This is Little Tyke's Dollhouse. This is the red van. It's in really good condition. A lot of times you'll get them and the sticker will be all messed up. There was a time when I could get probably $20 to $30, but I have not found Little Tyke's Dollhouse very much at all any these days. So I'm still hoping maybe $15 or so dollars for it. Oh, and then here, this is Little Tyke's also. There was like a um, gas pump toy for a toddler. It stood probably this tall. Yeah, you know what I mean? And this went with it. I'll definitely just list it as a replacement. A lot of times, too, these are all chewed up, and this one seems to be in really good condition. I'm still thinking probably $10 to $12 for it. Somebody donated a bunch of Little Tykes. This is a Little Tykes um, ruler thing. What are these called? Slide rule. Slide ruler. That's not a slide ruler. It's a tri-square. Whatever. Um, or we could call it a tape measure. <laughs> if I have other Little Tykes tools listed, I'll add this to it. Otherwise, I will list this by itself, even if it's only worth five, eight dollars. And then as I find other Little Tykes tools, I'll just keep adding to my lot. I think some people call them a combination square, too. I don't know. I think I've used slide roll when I've listed them before. That's a math counting. I know, but it slides and it's a ruler. <laughs> More little people. I've got tons of little people to get listed. But look, this is nice. Look, this is vintage Fisher Price. This is the alphabet soup can, 1987. It's from the Fun with Food series. Y'all, these are gold if you can find them, especially in lots. This is missing the the soup. There was like alphabet soup pieces that went down inside of it. I'll still list this. Um, even without that, I may even split them up. Just depends on what the, the comps are showing me because somebody who already has this might be looking for this. Just really depends. A lot of times I don't make up my mind until I'm getting ready to process them. And then, look, Little Tykes food. Also a really good find. I may have a few more pieces. I'll put these maybe in lots, maybe individually. I don't know yet. And then, look, this is Fisher Price Little Mommy. I know I have other pieces to that doll set. These are the accessories. I will. In fact, I might have bought a little mommy this last trip, but these will get listed before I ever get to them anyway. Um, but if I have the others, I have a box over here that's marked dolls, and I'll sort through that to see if I have any more little mommy stuff. And then these. These are Lego Duplo Primo. The blocks, I wish I had some to show you. I just recently sold some, I believe. Um, but these little figures, they are really hard to find. Um, I don't think I have any currently going. So again, he'll get listed all by himself. And then I'll just add as I find some more. Especially when I'm digging through bins. Anytime I see them, I pick them up. Ah, I just had to. I'm looking at the writing. That's why I was staring. It looks like somebody added that. That doesn't look 
original, does it, to you guys? I don't think so. I think somebody added that. Yes. It's not red enough. Uh-uh. So I don't know if maybe they ruined that outfit. I don't know if it'll come out. But he's very cute. His hair is in pretty good condition. I will probably take the outfit off. He feels like he's got a diaper on, too, of some type. But I don't know what I'll do about this writing. Maybe it'll come out with um, bleach. I don't know. Fuck. A lot of different stuff in this bag. This is Play School Busy Box. They're vintage. Probably, I want to say 80s. It just needs a good wipe down. Have to be careful um, of the stickers. But otherwise, look, it's got its little attachments. I'm thinking one might be missing right here. I'm hoping to list it for maybe $15 or so once I get it cleaned up. Another little mommy piece. So I'll add it to that collection. More little people. I usually will do small lots. If I'm shooting for $10, then I'll figure out what equals $10 as far as comps are showing me. I've not seen this little monkey before. He's different. I think this might be a zoo talker because he's got the bottom like this. So I'll try to see if I have any other zoo talkers to go with this. But y'all, when I say I probably have at least 100 little people to get listed, I really do. They're overwhelming me because I've just kind of been listing plush and not dealing with smalls. You look like a Zoolander monkey. Some more. Some more of the little people. I think it's applause. This is Garfield's teddy bear, Pookie, but this one is Ty. But I know anytime that I have found him, I don't know if he's Dakin or applause or Russ. Or it could be all of the above. But definitely keep your eyes out for any bear that looks like um, Pookie from Garfield. Of course, here's some plush. I don't know what brand this is. It's one of those little zipper um, purses. It kind of reminds me of Aurora, but somebody has cut the tag off. I don't know. Usually these are my bread and butter, but it's cute. Care Bears. I pick all of them up. I think these are from like the 2000s. He just needs a bath. This is the little baby series. He's got a big Tweety Bird sized head. Yeah. Look at this. I love vintage plush. He's going to need a bath. It says American coin. So this would have probably been in a vintage. I mean in a vending. What is those? Like a claw machine. Probably. It says good stuff. I'm not seeing a date. But look. Just kind of interesting. In an ugly sort of way. This is interesting. At first I thought it was a plush. But it's solid. Almost like maybe, oh, it's an ornament. It's got a little hook right here. Very cute. I'll list it as an ornament. Just more examples of smalls. I always pick up the mega blocks. I'll make a small lot, maybe four or six of them for, you know, $15, $20. Definitely got vintage vibes, but I am not seeing a tag anywhere. I doubt Google Lens is going to help me with this one. It's probably just going to push, pull up dogs. It's more than likely, because I don't know who it is, I'll probably list it for like 50 or more dollars and then see what kind of offers or interest I get for it. But I'm going to use, you know, floppy ears, dog, maybe basset hound, any kind of keywords like that, yellow, pink eyes. Just very cool. I love this stuff. Another vintage. This is Gerber TLC. Made in Korea. Definitely vintage. I'll use like pillow because it does have a pillow shape to it. Just very cute. $20, $25. Look 
how cute. Love this. I'm trying to figure out the brand. Avon. Avon 2017. Avon, other than that uh, advent calendar, normally isn't that great. But he's very cute. Love him. Make sure if you're listing plush, if it has embroidered eyes, make sure you, if you've got the space, put embroidered eyes. A lot of times, um, parents might only want to buy them if that, just in case they've got, you know, a toddler or a pet that might destroy and get choked on the eyes. Well, last thing for this round, this is one of the larger Disney Sumsums. I have a Mickey, and he's been listed for quite a while, so I'm going to think I'm going to give him a bath and then maybe add him to the Mickey. And then if I find another one that's different, maybe add another one until it finally sells. And it always eventually sells. All right, I think that's it. We've cut tons, tons, but I think we're running out of space where I store all this, and then there's really no space because I'm trying to sort other things right now so this might be the last video for a day or two so I can get stuff sorted that needs washed which most of it probably will all right get to work you didn't say bye <gasps> but just do it all again <laughs> all right get to work bye